So there she is in all her glory. Comes with this little this little leather stringy thing that you can open up to get the knife, you know, I guess, I don't know. Sheath, uh, uh, well stitched. Got a rip, damn it, rip it right there. It says made in the USA. Let's see what this blade looks like. There you go. Silicone gun cloth. Had this for a long time. We're gonna shine her up a little bit. Yeah, you can tell this is hand done, boy. Definitely gonna have to keep it oiled. Like I said, it's 1095. I got some discoloration right here. That's okay, it kinda adds to the patina. Very shiny knife. The handle, some people say the handle is very huge. Well, it's a handful, but I have small hands and it's not that huge. I got a pin right here. Now, from what I've seen, these tangs go down to here, okay, about. So, you know, you call it a three-quarter tang, call it whatever. But from what I've also read, they're very strong, very tough, and people that have used them have, uh, have been impressed. This horn is very unique. You can tell it's a bone like, and it's very polished. Very interesting. And they're all different. Each one is gonna be different. This is like built like an old cowboy way. That's pretty cool. Let's see what this blade is. Okay, nine and a half. They say it's a 10 inch. But I'm getting nine and a half, and that's good enough. My handle is six. I've got a real thick spine here. Nice wedge. I like the knife. It's very pretty. Yeah. Here it is against the cold steel slash windless Bowie. Yeah, this one's a lot bigger. Doesn't come like this. I antiqued it. And I put a little hamon on it. Here it is against the Becker. About the same size as the Becker. 